All right, I'm at 818 Navarone. That is 816 Navarone. That's the two bedroom, one bathroom unit. And then let's go ahead and walk into the main house, which as you saw, it's a 3,000 square foot home. Oh, thank you. So this is your entryway. We have this little area right here in the foyer, with the coat closet, room for a side table. the foyer you have the guest room the receiving room however you'd like to call it so there's ample space here for a large sofa and however else you'd like to design your home continuing on down the long hallway off the front door I'll make sure to go right because to the right, you have a fireplace slash family room. Quite a bit of room. We have a decent sized sectional. We have nice bay windows with a bench, fireplace. And then here is the dining area, formal dining area, which is just off the kitchen. Here is your kitchen. This leads over to one of the main areas, main doors to get to the backyard, into the little awning area with a little koi pond right there. Going back the other way to an, the second exit to the backyard, it's you have the little bar lounge area, also a third door that leads into the awning area. And then there's the backyard. And before I head outside, we'll take a look at the bedrooms. And we're back in the main hallway, just off of the kitchen. We have the first community restroom with stand-up shower. No tub there. You have a, a little nook. And then we'll go to the left. We have one bedroom with a walk-in closet and custom cabinets. That's rather large. You see that's the fireplace from the receiving room. So you can see it from both sides. There's the receiving room, if you can remember that plant. And then here's the ensuite. Toilets behind the door. You got all the beautiful cabinets. There is your shower. It's a beautiful shower. There you go, there's the remainder of the room. Across from this room is just a regular sized room. Small closet. That's a twin size bed. Bedside tables on either side. And then into the largest room. Looks like they have some patchwork that they're still doing. That there's a queen size bed. Bedside tables on either. Let's make sure we see that as well. has room for a study on this side. Here is the restroom. Which stand up shower and its own bathtub. Head back out. And here's your grandiose walk-in closet. Beautiful. 
from here, I'll go walk the grounds because that's all we can do. Both units are occupied and I couldn't get access to view either one. I already showed you where, let's actually go that way. Go near 816, which is the larger of the two units that are currently have tenants. There's a side gate that leads to another gate that is between the two, the main house here and the larger of the two ADUs. And here's the gate to get through the back door. This is as much as we can see without having access from the tenants. Now we'll go walk the grounds. There's a little pond, koi pond. A couple of fish in there. My buddy actually is the one who treats that koi pond. He has his own business out here and you have quite a handful of redwood trees in the backyard. Quite a bit of open space. Because up here you have a couple of a little deck where the redwood trees end and a functioning hot tub. This here is the other ADU. It's the smaller of the two units. To the right, that's a shed right in here. I don't have access. Well, I have access to the shed. I don't have access to the garage. It's a nice sized shed, wired for electricity and electricity only, no water. Doesn't have much of a floor either or a ceiling. So it's just a shed. However, the garage, which I don't have access to, has three entrances, one here, there's the window. Back up so you can see most of the garage. So it's a large garage. And it's off to the left of the main house. There's the access point number two. And before we get to access point number three, this is the smaller of the two units front entrance and let's see how much you can actually see in here so it has an attic for storage and the two areas there and it looks like they were building another unit of sorts or an office inside the garage so effectively you only have space for maybe storing one vehicle and that's what this house has to offer hope that was helpful